Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Paulson with Arasi, and today we're going to be discussing shin splints. First, we'll look at the causes of shin splints, and then we'll look at the signs and symptoms that might be associated with this injury. After that, we'll jump in and we'll kind of see how traditional healthcare may evaluate this injury. And finally, we'll look at Arasi and how our process is just a little bit different. Let's get started. Shin splints, or medial tibial stress syndrome, is when your body has had repetitive stress to lower leg bone, the tibia, without proper time to rest or heal. Practitioners often call this an overuse injury, often seen in athletes who have not given themselves enough time to rest between vigorous activity. Some causes of shin splints may include a shorter leg, a shorter foot, a weak hamstring, or a weak quad. In addition, you may have injured yourself when you were younger and that predisposes you for this injury. After that, the type of activity that you participate in can really affect this, the training surface specifically. There's a reason we often don't see this in cyclists or swimmers. Now, let's discuss some of the signs and symptoms that may indicate you have shin splints. The most common indicator is that you'll have pain running down the front lower part of your leg with activity. This pain usually ceases or stops pretty quickly once that activity stops. You may notice some tenderness or swelling in the front of your leg as well. If this injury has been around long enough, you may even notice some of this similar pain at rest. Now, let's discuss how the traditional healthcare setting may treat shin splints. Rest, ice, and anti-inflammatories are the three most common utilized forms of treatment for shin splints. If that doesn't work, a patient may be prescribed orthotics or shoe inserts to help with the pain. If that progresses, the patient may be put on crutches, and in extreme cases, surgery may be suggested. Now, let's take a look at how our Rossi is just a little bit different. Each visit, we spend an hour with our patients. This allows us to work through a thorough evaluation and come up with a proper diagnosis. With some specific hands-on manual therapy, we work through the soft tissue component we find to be the culprit of your issue. After manual therapy, we design an active care program with specific stretches and exercises you can do at home to continue the progress you made in office. We hope this information was helpful to you. If you or somebody you know happens to be suffering from shin splints, Arasti would love to hear from you. We offer both in-office as well as telehealth visits. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next video.